So the Dark Troopers look like they're coming back to canon, and it seems like they'll play a role in some things to come in The Mandalorian. So I figured let's discuss Dark Troopers, their history and legends, and what that may mean for the future of the show. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. Before I start, there will be some light spoilers at the very end of this video for the last episode of The Mandalorian, which was Chapter 12, known as The Siege. When I start talking about things that are spoilery, I will make sure to let everyone know. The first part of this video is mostly focused on legend stuff anyway, so won't be any spoilers during the first half, but near the end, I will put a spoiler warning. So in Legends, the Dark Trooper program was one of many secret military projects undertaken by the Empire. Originally featured in the game Dark Forces, which came out in the mid-90s, the Dark Trooper program was a project to create the next generation of Imperial infantry. The plan saw three iterations of troopers designed to basically replace the Stormtrooper. While some of these designs were battle droids like the forces used by the Confederacy of Independent Systems during the Clone Wars, some of them were exoskeleton-like suits of armor designed to be worn by Stormtroopers. But ultimately, they were all designed to be improvements on the standard infantry being used by the Empire. Phase 1 Dark Troopers were battle droids with relatively skeletal frames, however the armor that they did have was made out of a lightsaber and blaster-resistant material, nearly impervious, for example, to something like a Jedi. The Phase 2 Dark Trooper took the previous design and added a lot more armor and weapons to it. This would make it far more effective in combat, and would greatly increase the coverage of the armor, making it even more difficult for an adversary to bring it down. And the last variant, also known as Phase 3, was the version that was intended for production. It could be used as both a battle droid and worn as a suit of armor, which would mean existing stormtroopers could be trained and utilize this new armor as opposed to being completely replaced. Like the previous versions, it had lightsaber-resistant armor plating, and the artificial systems of the suit could boost the wearer's strength. On top of that, it sported things like jetpacks and a wide variety of weapons. Now, there was actually one more variant of Dark Trooper from Legends, called the Phase Zero armor, and this was essentially just stormtrooper armor. It was given a much more specialized purpose and designed to be sort of a heavy commando unit, and ultimately, at least if the original Battlefront games are to be believed, it did see combat. In Legends, the Dark Troopers were developed in secrecy as a special project by the Empire. It was designed to counter the growing threat from the Rebel Alliance and the possibility of remaining Jedi. However, they were all being worked on aboard a single starship known as the Ark Hammer. And when this ship was destroyed in a Rebel raid, it basically ground the Dark Trooper program to a halt, and it would never really recover from that point. Generally, I've always assumed that much of the funding that was allocated to the Dark Trooper program was shifted to other projects after the Ark Hammer's destruction. As such, only a few Phase 1, 2, and 3 Dark Troopers ever saw combat. So what about Dark Troopers in canon? Well, before we talk about some of the newer information, let's talk about the only place that we've seen them so far in the Disney canon. That's right, here's something I never thought I'd be discussing on the channel. We're going to talk about Star Wars Commander, a Star Wars strategy mobile game. And that game does include Dark Troopers as a deployable unit by the Empire. Now, while that game is questionably canon at times, it does confirm that some of the qualities from Legends have carried over to canon. For example, the game does mention that Dark Troopers are still droids. They are not wearable suits. And that kind of like in Legends, the program was ultimately viewed as a failure, with only a few units ever seeing combat. Now that brings us to the latest developments which happened in the last episode of The Mandalorian. Now if you haven't seen that, I'm going to get into some spoiler territory, so maybe click up here if you want to see a different video. This one in particular is about the state of the galaxy at the time of The Mandalorian, and is completely spoiler free for this new season. So anyway, into spoiler territory for the fourth episode of the second season, also known as Chapter 12, The Siege. At the end of the episode, we see Moff Gideon aboard his Architans class cruiser, overseeing a room full of shadowy battle droids and in the audio description they're referred to as Dark Troopers. So we can confirm that these new units that we see under Gideon's command are in fact Dark Troopers. As for the specifics of how they relate to the Dark Troopers we know from Legends, that's all a little hazy right now. Personally, I think we're going to find out that the Dark Trooper program that was undertaken during the Galactic Civil War, and was ultimately viewed as a failure, was maintained in some capacity by Moff Gideon which would make sense due to his position in the ISB during the Galactic Civil War. And that maybe by this point in galactic history, they've become a more formidable and practical fighting force. And it would make sense for a Moff with waning power following the fall of the Empire to want to have a force of battle droids that are more reliable and more maintainable than a force of stormtroopers. And it's really rather interesting when we're considering how powerful Moff Gideon is. If you want more information about how powerful he might be and really how big the forces under his command are, I'll leave a link up here to my video on that. And I want you to let me know down in the comments how you think the Dark Troopers in The Mandalorian will be represented. Do you think they're going to be like Phase 1 and Phase 2 Dark Troopers from Legends where they'll be droids? Or do you think they'll be exoskeletons worn by soldiers? Perhaps soldiers modified to have Force abilities. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.